Hi everyone, it's Tim here. So I've got some very interesting news from Give Energy about their new all-in-one battery. Let's go take a look. So Give Energy sort of announced their new all-in-one battery at the Solar and Storage Live event last October, um, but there re really weren't any details um, out about it at the time. Um, but I noticed on their website the other day that they've added a new data sheet for the all-in-one battery and also their new gateway, um, which these are clearly aimed at the Tesla Powerwall market, I think. So I'm going to take a quick look at the data sheets for both the all-in-one battery and the new gateway and see how they compare to the Powerwall. So it's worth clarifying here that this is an AC coupled battery just like the Powerwall. Uh, that means that you would have to connect it directly to your uh, main supply rather than having your solar panels connect into the um, inverter like you would with a hybrid inverter for example. So I'm not going to get into an argument here over whether AC coupled or DC coupled batteries are superior. I'm sure many of you uh, feel very strongly one way or the other and I'm here to tell you uh, please don't be too zealous about your um, assertions that one is better than the other. They, are, they both have their pros and their cons and for certain people AC coupled will be better and for other people DC coupled will be better. So um, if you're thinking of jumping in the comments and saying that you'd never get a, an all-in-one because it's AC coupled, that's fine. Go and get a, a hybrid inverter and uh, couple your batteries via DC, that's fine. Um, there's no need to be uh, rude to other people who would prefer the AC route. So with that out of the way, let's carry on looking at the data sheet. So this is the data sheet for the new Give Energy all-in-one battery. You can see that it's 13.5 kilowatt hours and it's AC coupled. This is extremely similar to the Powerwall, which is also AC coupled and has a usable capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours. So that's more or less exactly the same. Um, the interesting thing from my perspective though is that the output AC power is six kilowatts. Um, now this is actually slightly higher than the Powerwall. Um, the Powerwall has an output rating of uh, five kilowatts. So we've got a slight increase um, in the all-in-one battery compared to the Powerwall there. Let's take a quick look at the data sheet for the Powerwall to compare. So yes, you can see here that the usable uh, capacity is 13.5 kilowatt hours um, and the maximum charge and discharge rate is five kilowatts. I'm not entirely sure what the 3.68 kilowatts real power or apparent power means, um, but uh, when it says max continuous, I assume that means that that's the five kilowatts there and that's the charge and the discharge rate. So uh, if you know what the difference between real power and max continuous is, please let me know in the comments, I'd like to know. Um, but from uh, what I can see here, five kilowatts is the charge and discharge rate um, compared to the six kilowatts of the given uh, energy all-in-one battery. Yes, the maximum charge and discharge current is the same at 25 amps, which um, equates to the 6 kilowatts. So you've got a slightly higher charging rate for the all-in-one battery, it looks like. The other interesting thing to note is that the peak power rating is 7.2 kilowatts um, over 10 seconds or 6.5 kilowatts for 30 seconds. So um, if you happen to use more than the um, than the default 6 kilowatts, you've got a few seconds where you can use slightly more um, before I guess, I guess it cuts out or something. I don't know, really know how these things work. So the other worthwhile thing to mention here is that the Give Energy all-in-one battery has lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. Um, it doesn't actually say it on the data sheet here. So I prefer the lithium iron phosphate um, battery chemistry of the all-in-one compared to the nickel manganese cobalt chemistry of the, um, of the Powerwall um, because lithium iron phosphate is actually completely recyclable at end of life whereas currently lithium uh, nickel manganese cobalt is not. Um, I'm sure that that's going to change in the future but for now um, my preference would be for lithium iron phosphate for that reason alone but also it's much safer in the sense that you really can't make a lithium iron phosphate battery catch fire. It's basically impossible whereas um, uh, it is possible for a, a nickel manganese cobalt um, battery to catch fire. Not that that should worry you particularly. Um, you know, they're extremely safe generally speaking um, but if that's something that uh, does concern you then lithium iron phosphate is, is worth uh, um, considering over the nickel manganese cobalt chemistries and um, so if you're looking for any battery that's um, that's something to consider. So the one downside I can see for the Give Energy all-in-one battery is that the warranty is only five years uh, compared to the Powerwall which has a warranty of 10 years. So I assume this is because um, the Give Energy uh, inverters uh, only have a warranty of five years so the fact that the um, all-in-one battery has has an inverter, obviously an AC inverter in this case, uh, combined with uh, their batteries means that the overall product um, only has a warranty of five years. Uh, I'm not quite sure how um, Tesla have managed to give their uh, Powerwall a 10-year warranty if they've got an, an inverter bundled in with it, but, uh, but there you go. Um, that's the one downside uh, so far as I can tell. So let's take a very quick look at the Give Energy Gateway, which provides backup power 
in the event of a power cut. So what they, the idea behind this is that if there's a power cut, uh, the gateway will disconnect you from the grid, which means that you can continue to use your all-in-one battery and I presume your solar panels. I actually haven't confirmed that, but uh, um, that would be interesting to know. Um, and this works in a very similar way to the Tesla backup gateway that they have for their Powerwall. Um, so this is rated at 80 amps. Um, the Tesla gateway is rated at 100 amps if it's on single phase, 80 amps um, for each of the three phases if you're on three phase. Um, but otherwise these are pretty similar. Again, the warranty for the, the, the backup gateway from Tesla is 10 years, whereas the um, warranty for the uh, Give Energy gateway is five years, um, much as with the, um, the, uh, the all-in-one battery. Um, so um, otherwise, um, you know, these, this is very similar to the, um, the, the Tesla gateway. Um, it will switch over automatically in the event of a power cut. Um, in this case, it switches over in 20 milliseconds, which is more or less instantaneous. You'll never notice that. Um, but yeah, that seems like a very useful um, piece of kit if you've uh, got the all-in-one. I did actually contact uh, Give Energy to check to see if this could be um, retrofitted to existing Give Energy battery systems, and they said not for the time being. Um, they say it's um, primarily used for the um, the new all-in-one battery, um, but they are not discounting the possibility that it might be usable for um, pre-existing. Uh, give energy systems that aren't the all-in-one battery in the future so uh, if i learn more about that i will let you know um, the other thing i tried to find out from give energy is the sort of time scales for um, the all-in-one battery and the gateway um, they said that they couldn't give me a firm date and um, they're hoping that it will be this year um, and regarding price they said that um, again they couldn't be uh, particularly specific about it but they said that it, they were aiming to be far more competitive than the power wall so that's very interesting to know um, so given that you get pretty much equivalent functionality from uh, from the all-in-one as you would from the power wall this is looking like a serious competitor uh, so um, I would be very interested to know what you think about this if you think that this is something that you would be uh, willing to wait for given that it's probably not out for you know at least a few more months possibly you know uh, later in the year um, but given that there's been quite a lot of supply issues with the power wall, if you were planning on getting a power wall and are, uh, you know, uh, sick of waiting, would you consider switching to an all-in-one? Um, that would be very interesting to know. If you want to be the first to know when the all-in-one and gateway are going to be released and what the price is going to be, uh, please do subscribe if you're not already, because I will um, let you know as soon as I do, basically. Uh, I've got a contact at Give Energy now, so uh, they will let me know uh, once that information is available. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has been interesting and uh, I will catch you in the next video.